Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we are doing a full face of drugstore products, and this is gonna be part of my wedding series. I'm still trying to figure out what I wanna do for my makeup look for my wedding day, so I figured why not film it all and then decide as it gets closer which look I loved the best. So I have some high-end videos that will be part of this series, but I also wanted to give some affordable options for those of you who may be looking for ideas. This is the look that I came up with, and yes, it is all drugstore products. I absolutely loved it, and I can't wait to show you guys how I got it. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family, so please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time that I upload. I do makeup videos, reviews, tutorials, hauls, lots of hauls, and I also sprinkle in some fitness. So if you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned to keep on watching. So we're going to start with primer, and today I pulled out just a bunch of drugstore goodies here's my little bin right here and i'm gonna start with this revline photo ready prime plus perfecting and smoothing primer i did use this a lot last year and then it's kind of just been sitting in my makeup drawer so i wanted to pull it out again because i remember loving it i think the biggest thing i'm going to be worried about for the wedding is longevity and making sure that these forehead wrinkles <sighs> stay at bay because I don't want to have to worry about having to do too much as far as touching up my wedding photos. So I'm also going to go in with my e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. This is the putty primer but the luminous version and we're going to take that and just put that in my pore area. And as you can see, that is giving me a little bit of a glow. And then just for oh, making a mess, just to make sure everything stays in place, it is a good practice to set your primers with a powder. This will help your makeup last longer. I'm not doing a tutorial today, but if I have some tips and tricks, I'm going to tell you guys. We are going to do eyeshadow first. I'm going to, I don't know if I want to do, I have my L'Oreal Full Wear Concealer, the infallible one. I haven't used this in a while, but I also have this CoverGirl Lid Lock Primer. I do want to go ahead and cancel out the discoloration on my eyes, so I'm gonna do the concealer first, and then I'm gonna go back over this with the primer. So as you can see, this is more of a clear base. It is not going to help if you have discoloration, so that's why I did both. For eyeshadow palettes today, I have two options. My colors for the wedding are gonna be purple and silver. So I have this LA Girl Break Free palette, and then I also have this ColourPop Sweet Nothings palette. I do know you can still get this one. I'm not sure about the ColourPop, so I'm only gonna pull that one out if I need to, but we're gonna try to stay with the LA Girl palette. And I actually have not used this. My son did a makeup look and he used this on me. We're gonna start, I don't have, oh, these do have the names on the back. Okay, I'm gonna start with Simplicity, which is this shade here. Then I'm gonna go in around the edges with Breathtaking, this shade here. On my lid, I'm going to start with this shade here, Flaunt, and I'm just going to use my finger. I always feel like I end up doing that anyway. Ooh, that is pretty. 
Hold on, let me come in closer just a little bit so you guys can see how this is applying. But this is a very foiled, extremely shiny shade. I'm gonna go in next with this lighter purple shade here, which is called Fairy Dust. I'm applying this with my finger as well. Wow. This palette has just been sitting in my drawer. Look at that shine. And I can like build this up and amp it up more. Ooh, that is very purple. It looks pinker to me, but beautiful color. Next, I'm gonna take this darker shade down here, Explore, and I'm gonna put that in my outer V. It is a bit of a satin, it's not a matte. These colors are just blending well, they're spreading well. I haven't used this palette, I'm kicking myself. This palette also does come with a black, so I'm gonna deepen up my outer V with that. That is so dark. Y'all, these LA Girl palettes are so good. I already know nothing about my wedding day makeup is gonna be soft. <laughs> Every time I say I'm gonna try to do something a little softer, I always end up doing this. So I'm trying to keep the darkest colors lower in my crease so that I don't have this blown up all the way to my brow bone like I did with my Patrick Ta palette. So I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna take this really light shade at the top here called Delicate and just go up on the brow bone with that, but still just kind of messy. To finish off, I'm gonna take this shade here called Graceful and just go back around the edges. I think we're gonna stop there with eyeshadow for right now. And I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then clean all that up later. All right, for complexion, we're gonna start with this Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour, not 24, Breathable Longwear Foundation. I have had this forever. This is in the shade 504 Deep Mocha. Yeah, this has SPF in it, but it says that the SPF expired in 2019, so y'all know. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, this is old, but I have it and I haven't used it in a while and I wanted to see how this finish was. It reminds me a little bit of my hard candy foundation, maybe just because of the applicator. I don't know as far as the wear. And I just snuck this in on y'all, but I am wearing my Just For Cure contacts. These are the blue ones. And I will have a link in the description bar if you guys are interested. I have a coupon code with them. And you can save some money if you wanna try. These are prescription, but you can get them just as regular contacts or you can get your prescription. Foundation is a little dark, but what's new, definitely want to apply more. We know, like I said, this is gonna be a trial run for the wedding, so we want Full coverage. I forgot, I have this Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. I'm gonna go in with that. And it'll also help to lighten this up a little bit. But this foundation is super full coverage. This one is in the shade Burkina 310. She ain't playing. What blemishes? Hmm, this might have to go in the suitcase. I feel like my face looks flawless, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair today. I did not feel like curling it, so 
that's where we are but this is what the base looks like right now i do still see a little bit of a glow but everything is covered i forgot how good that foundation was for concealer we're just gonna stay on this train i have my juvia's place and this is in the shade 15 it is super light but again we want full coverage everything i'm gonna start here i have not worn this since last summer i know oh that looks so pretty the way it's been blending out And I'm going to apologize now. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but of course there is construction. Never fails when I want to film. So they are, sounds like using a power saw today. That's what I'm talking about. I hate when concealers are like, oh, we're so full coverage. And then you still see everything through. This is full coverage. I'm going to put a tiny bit more right in the inner corners and let that sit. And then the bad thing, I don't remember which powder I liked better. I think it was my Black Radiance setting powder in Banana because I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus one and I feel like I remember that one left me feeling really dry. So we're just going to use this to set. That is so pretty. Go just lightly tap over that and then set this. And then I am gonna set my whole face because again, we want longevity. So I'm gonna use this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Deep. I feel like it's been a minute since my face looked this flawless. Like normally I just do, I mean, I do my makeup to look flawless, but not like, I don't know, this is, this feels like super full coverage. I don't think I normally do that. All right, to contour, this is probably gonna be really dark on me. So I have two options. I have the Makeup Revolution Times Roxy Contour and Highlight Palette, which has these shades. And then I also really want to play with this, even though I think it's too dark. This is the Juvia's Place Bronzed Bronzer in Deep Dark. She's dark, dog, dog. And I do this to myself every time. So I'm going to take the lighter, warmer shade and start there but we want to have everything snatched so i'm going to dip into the darker one these feel so smooth though the way they're just gliding on i definitely feel like this is buildable like it looks super intimidating in the pan but it's not going on to pigmented to start but it is dark look at that and i'm going to take my bigger bronzer brush with the lighter one and just blend everything definitely sculpted absolutely love this i'm going to use the highlighters in the Roxy palette, but for blush, I also have more Juvia's Place. Y'all know they kill it for the drugstore. I am going to take this shade B at the bottom and 
try to go very lightly. And I picked that one because it is a bit of a cooler tone to go with the purple. But y'all see that color already. Absolutely gorgeous. And then the highlighter, I'm going to go back to the Roxy palette. I'm going to start off with this golder one. They don't have names, so just this shade here. very pretty i'm gonna go in with this lighter shade here and just very lightly yeah kind of helps cool off the yellow a little bit that is so pretty okay loving how the complexion looks so far I'm going to work on my bottom lash line now, so I'm going to go back in with my Break Free palette, and I'm going to start with the black. I'm just going to line, I could use a black eyeliner, but I actually prefer, where's my brush, to use my little smudger, and just go in here. That is so dark. And then I'm going to go in with explore again just a little more purple but it's that satin shade and then i'm going to go in with the lightest shimmer shade that we used i feel like it's coming off a little bit oops wrong shade dustier but still not dustier but like cooler almost like silver it still has that little hint of purple in it. And then I do want to make my bottom lash line really smoky. So I'm going to go in with Simplicity again and just run that along the bottom lash line. All right, that is it for everything. I'm going to do my brows off camera. I'm going to put on some lashes and then we'll come back and finish lips. All right, and 20 minutes later, we have lashes on. Takes me forever, every single time. For lips, we're gonna try out the NYX Espresso Liner. This isn't new, it's a brown. The lip color that I have is new though. This is the, where is the name? Black Radiance Perfect. Of course, the freaking sticker is covering the name. I will put it on the screen, but it is a matte lip cream and there's no shade name on it or anything. I am so sorry. This, I'll try to find it and I'll have it on the screen, but this is what the shade looks like. I think it'll be a good nude. Yep not too neutral because i don't like cool tone lips that literally looks like my lip color if my lip was all one color <laughs> i like that shade and i feel like it makes my my teeth look really white so that is perfect i didn't pull out a gloss i will probably use one but for now this is good enough so this is it for the final look i absolutely love how this eyeshadow look turned out y'all if a $15 eyeshadow palette ends up being what I use for my wedding, how ironic is that? This is absolutely gorgeous. The lashes are also drugstore. These are the Ardell 259s, very big. Gave me a little bit of trouble, but I won. So yeah, very happy with this look. Comment below, let me know what you think. Definitely purple enough, see some silver. Beautiful look and it's all drugstore. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!